people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. Hope this message reaches you in good health and strength. Now, the lesson is liars, false witnesses, and their punishments. And it's just like how people practice so much iniquity with their mouth. And um, a, a little bit more than that too, just breaking down of the scriptures. Now, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 17. He that speaks truth shows forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. And we're also going to talk about stop letting people deceive you that they're children of God when they're liars, when they don't speak the truth. You don't see them living in truth. They're fake flexing and fake funking, you know, and clout chasing and living for social media type things putting on people that you see putting on you know they're not showing forth righteousness you know they're not truthful they're not even living a truth within themselves and what god wants me to talk about is that people are really deceived with people being of the light and being of truth and they know that people are liars and for people to stop deceiving themselves and saying that they're children of God when they speak lies. He said, you're of your father, the devil. Satan is the father of lies. If you speak the truth, it's because you're a child of God. So you'll know the difference of who's God's children and who's Satan's children. He, those who love to tell lies are Satan's children. Love is an action word. Their actions will tell you who they belong to. If they belong to the father of the God of truth, or they belong to Satan, the father of lies. Who they worship is what they do. If you love God, you will keep his commandments. You will tell the truth. And if you're a liar, without you saying it, you are a child of Satan. You don't have to say it. You can lie with your mouth how much you you love God, but your actions, it shows you love Satan because you're a liar. You understand? And that was that's what God wants me to talk about as well, because people are out here deceiving themselves when all they do is they use their tongue to lie. They lie about everything. That means they serve Satan. They don't serve God. Now. With that being said, let's break down the scriptures. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 17. He that speaks truth shows forth righteousness, but a false witness, deceit. And they're going to talk about the punishment of these people who think it's cool going around forging lies, lying with their tongue, making false reports on people, false reporting. Proverbs chapter 21, 28. A false witness shall perish. So people who bear false witness on people, they'll perish. But the man that hears speaks constantly. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 9. A false witness shall not be unpunished. No, you bear false witness on somebody, you're not going to be unpunished for that. Whether written or spoken or typed. You bear false witness against a person... You're not going to be unpunished for that. And he that speaks lies shall perish. Now, Exodus 23, verse 1. Thou shall not raise a false report, but put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. You're not supposed to raise a false report against anybody. Do not put your hands with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness and you know he lying is something god that that god hates he stands on his truth god is the god of truth lying is an abomination to his lips proverbs chapter 6 6 verse pardon me proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 to 19 we know that lying is one of the things god hates so that's why he said if you lie, if you if you bear false witness you won't go un go unpunished you will perish you won't escape these six things does the lord hate yeah seven are an abomination unto him 
a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift to run into mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among brethren. What do people that lie do? They sow discord amongst people that never had a problem because of their lies. They made people start looking at people in a way they shouldn't have been looking at them because of their lies. This is something God hates. People who got a lying tongue and people who false witness against people. And they sow discord amongst people with their lies and their conspiracy. Now, Proverbs chapter 29 and 12. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. Let me break this one down. See if you're a king. And all your serv look, look, let's take King Darius, for example, with the Daniel story. Right? King Darius was a king. He was a ruler. And his servants were wicked. All of them were lying on Daniel. When King Darius came to realization and came to the revelation that they were lying on Daniel, what did King Darius do? He threw those men in the lion's den who lied on Daniel and their wives and their children. Because if a ruler hearkened to lies, all his servants are wicked. See if you're an employer now. And your employee lies to you about the other employee. And you fire that employee on account of another employee's lies. You just been, your, your, your employees are wicked. And they know how to deceive you. They will come for your position. They will make false reports on you. King Darius understood that as a king. You cannot have your servants that are liars around you because they'll conspire for your throne. So he said, give, he put them, their children and their wives. He didn't leave no crumbs. He didn't even leave any children of theirs to rise up against him. If they lie, if a ruler hearkens to lies, all his servants are wicked. If you're a king, and you could be fooled by your servants, they will come for your throne. If you're a ruler and your and your servants could trick you with lies and have you do something to an innocent person, though all your servants are wicked, you're not safe either. If you're an employer, if you're a boss, if you're a captain, if you're a judge. If you hold high position and authority, if your servants are wicked, you're not safe. All of them are wicked. They could deceive you. They know how to deceive you. They know how to flatter you. So they know how to take your position. They got rid of someone else's position and you hearken to their lies. It's a dangerous game if you're a ruler and you hearken to lies from your servants and the people who work for you. That means they're all wicked and they'll conspire on you. It's just a matter of time. It's a dangerous game. King Darius never left that to happen to him. He threw those serpents of his in the lion's den. Exodus chapter 20 verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. No, love your neighbor as yourself. Don't be raising up no false report and false witness on your neighbor. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 5. A righteous man hates lying. Righteous men and women hate lying. But a wicked man is loathsome and comes to shame. Proverbs 19 chapter 19 verse 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaks lies shall not escape. You won't escape your lies. A lie is but for a moment. You won't. You won't. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 18. A man that bears false witness against his neighbor is a mule a, and a sword and a sharp arrow. So you know people who bear false witness against their neighbor? What God tell them in Exodus 20, 
20 and 16 thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor then he tells you the people that do it is a mall is a mule a, and a sword and a sharp arrow proverbs chapter 14 verse 25 a true witness delivers souls but a deceitful witness speaks lies now in matthew chapter 26 verse 59 now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witnesses against emmanuel to put him to death they even paid people to lie on christ so you got people who are out here will get paid to lie on you will get paid to false witness against you your neighbors your family your community your employer your your co-workers there's people who will take a bribe against your life just like judas and make false reports on you and false witness against you for cars for money for clothes for position for honor to be promoted for vanity mark chapter 14 verse 56 for many bear false witness against him yeah many bear false witness against christ but their witness agreed not together <laughs> they lied so much all of them had different different witnessing lying proverbs chapter 19 verse 9 a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaks lies shall not shall perish your lies will cause you to perish you know every part every liar will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone and matthew chapter 15 verse 9 for out of the heart don't i tell you to guard your heart don't i tell you people to clean your heart don't i tell you people about the stuff that it comes from your heart and your heart and your mind work together what what comes up if your heart is not pure if your heart doesn't have understanding what do you think is in people's heart if it's not right it's not full of knowledge wisdom understanding and purity and righteousness and their heart is not clean and they have a stony heart and they don't have a heart of flesh for out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts murders adulteries fornications thefts false witness blasphemes now job chapter 14 i mean chapter 13 verse 4 but you are fortress of lies yeah are ye are all physicians of no value so they forge lies against people forge them they create them even forge people's signature forge documentations of lies for forge even demonic paperwork of lies the you are physicians of no value even the physicians tell lie on people's medical records and medical reports because they're paid they forge lies on people and they call god said they're physicians of no value proverbs chapter 26 verse 28 a lying tongue hates those that are afflicted by it they know that they've been lying on people and they see the affliction that came to people from their lies they hate those that are afflicted by it them people hate them people and a flattering mouth works ruin people who are flattering you they're working ruin proverbs chapters 12 and 19 the lip of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but for a moment that's why it tells you a false witness shall not go unpunished I'll, because you won't the lie is just for a moment Th what what they did to daniel weren't those guys those men's lies for a moment then they end up getting thrown in the diet lions den proverbs 29 and 5 a man that flatter flattereth his neighbor spreads a net for his feet job chapter 13 verse 5 oh that you would altogether hold your peace and it should be your wisdom proverbs chapter 14 and 5 
A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. Now Psalms chapter 62 verse 4. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. Hosea chapter 7 verse 3. They make the king glad with their wickedness and the princes with their lies. Psalms chapter 101 verse 7. He that works deceit shall not dwell within my house, says God. He that tells lies shall not tarry in my sight. Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is that man that makes the Lord his trust, and respects not the proud, nor such as a turn aside to lies. Now, we're going to talk about like some Cain and Abel behavior, sibling rivalry behavior. All right, because there's people out here, they're not their brother's keeper. They are not their sister's keeper. And you got people out here who are straight up Judas, who will take a bri take take money, take possessions, take material to make a false report against you, to bear false witness against you. Now, you have brother and sister who do that. They'll bring you in court cases. They'll try to steal from you. Now, let's talk about this, this Cain and Abel behavior when it comes to lying. Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 18. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and has testified falsely against his brother, so you got to know there are brothers and sister who testify falsely against their brother and sister. There's a lot of canes out here. Okay? And if they do this in a court of law, if they stand before it and a judge is supposed to make diligent inquisition when it's a brother and sister situation when it's a family vi rivalry when it's brother against brother sister against sister when they're making their inquisition they a judge must make diligent inquisition when it comes to brothers and sisters why because one is a cane and one is an abel and the judges shall make diligent inquisition and behold if the witness be a false witness and has testified falsely against his brother then shall you do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother so thou shalt put the evil away from among you do you understand this is not even just a little bit of inquisition god says that judges shall shall make diligent inquisition when it comes to sibling rivalry. Because one is a Cain. And one is an Abel. And they're fooling the family. They're f you understand me? Proverbs chapter 19 verse 22. The desire of a man is his kindness. And a poor man is better than a liar. A poor man is better than a liar. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 4. A wicked doer gives heed to false lips. People who do wickedness, they like to listen to people and their false lips. And a liar gives ear to a naughty tongue. People who are liars, they like to hear people talk naughty in their ears. And talk all kinds of nonsense, stuff that are not good because they're liars. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 12. If a ruler hearken to lies... All his servants are wicked. We broke that down with King Darius and people and employment. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 25. A true witness delivers souls, but a deceitful witness speaks lies. Proverbs 12 and 22. Lion lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 5. 
and they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongues to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Revelations chapter 22 verse 15 For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So you got people who love love to lie and they love to make a lie but they're without they'll go in the lake of fire isaiah chapter 59 verse 13 in transgressing and lying against the lord and departing away from our god speaking oppression and revolt conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood from their heart they be lying and as I told you, it's either you worship, you, you, your worship is vain if you don't do the works of God and tell the truth. If you tell lies, you're, you're, you're the child of the devil. Don't tell people you're a child of God. You're lying. You're out here making false report on people. Don't say you love God. You're operating like Satan. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks it of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now we know we, we, we serve God, the God of truth, so we tell the truth. We, we are, we are, we're not out here making false witnessing against our neighbor. And people we know. We're not here making false reports on people. Isaiah 65 and 16. That he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. These people are even saying, I swear to God. And they're lying. Because the former troubles are forgotten. And because they are hid from my eyes. Now... What is up with these liars? A sword is upon them from God. Jeremiah chapter 50 and 36. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. The workers in Babylon. Because they've done, they done so much lying. Revelations chapter 21 verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving... And the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. It says, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation chapter 2 verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou cannot, canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. <laughs> Psalms chapter 44 verse 8. Whose mouth speaks vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. They go in the court of law. They raise their hand. They put their hand on the Bible. Their right hand of falsehood. Knowing that they're swearing falsely against the Lord. Knowing that they're telling falsehood to go make a false report and false statement on somebody. Jeremiah chapter 23, 32. Behold, I'm against them that prophesize false dreams. There's even people who come on the internet telling false dreams. Says the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I send them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit these people at all, says the Lord. Now Amos chapter 2 verse 4. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. This was in the last videos too, as well. Because they have despised the law of the Lord, and have not kept his commandments, and their lies caused them to err which after the which their fathers have walked lying caused people to err and so does whoredom 
Hosea chapter 4 and 12. My people ask counsel at their stocks and their staff declare unto them for the spirit of whoredoms has caused them to err. Didn't I tell you lies have caused these people to err? Whoredoms cause these people to fall. It is the truth. And they have gone a whoring from under their God, from lion and and whoredoms. James chapter 5 and 19. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one converts him, let him know that he which converts the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 25. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measure for me. From me, says, says the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Cursed be the man that trusts in man and makes not the Lord his trust. You trusted in the falsehood of people's words and people's mouth instead of asking God. But if you save somebody from the error of their ways and you convert somebody with the truth, know that you save the soul from death and it shall hide a multitude of your sins. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and always speak the truth because the truth is your shield and your buckler. The truth will set you free. The truth will sanctify you. The truth will make you wise. The, the truth will save your life. Stay blessed.